Welcome to Librarian Recommends. Hi, my name is Trish and I'm one of the librarians at Barbican Library. And in this video, I'm going to bring you some suggestions of audiobooks to listen to. Look out for it fortnightly on a Thursday. When the library is open, you can of course come into the library to borrow books. But did you know that you can also download audiobooks using our free Libby app 24 7? Simply download the Libby app, search for City of London Libraries and enter your library membership number and away you go. If you need help using the app, please take a look at the user guide videos on our YouTube channel using the link above. Audiobooks are a great way to experience books, especially when we are all so short of free time, as you can listen to them when you are doing something else. Today's audiobook suggestions are all books that have been adapted for film or TV. First up is Pieces of Her by Karen Slaughter. This is a mother-daughter thriller. The story starts off with Andrea, or Andy, Oliver, having a birthday lunch with her well-respected speech therapist mother, Laura. A man interrupts by shooting at fellow diners, and Andy suddenly sees a completely different side of her mother. To Andy's surprise, Laura coolly confronts the man who is threatening their lives and kills him. Andy begins to realise her mother isn't the person she thought she was. The killing incident sets off a chain of events that sends Andy on a road trip in a desperate race against time to piece together the truth about her mother's past before any more blood is shed. The story switches backwards and forwards between Andy in the present day and Laura's previous life. Slowly the stories start coming together. There is murder, loss, lies and urban terrorism. Andy starts out very timid and weak, but as the story continues, she comes into her own to survive the chaos. An upcoming TV series based on this book is set to premiere on Netflix soon. How About Us by David Nichols. This is a funny, moving story of a marriage in crisis, narrated by the husband, Douglas Peterson, who is a mild-mannered biochemist with a disciplined, formulaic approach to life. Against the odds, he is married to Connie, a spontaneous, free-spirited artist. They have a 17-year-old son, Albie, who is artistic like his mother, but who cannot relate to his father. After 21 years of marriage, just as Albie is about to leave for college, Connie decides that their marriage may be over. Douglas insists that the family still go ahead with a last holiday together, a month-long grand tour of Europe. He secretly hopes to save the marriage and repair his troubled relationship with his son. The chapters are short, alternating between the story of the disastrous trip and past memory of Douglas's early life with Connie. Douglas's voice is endearingly honest, self-deprecating and entertaining with his intelligent sense of humour and wry observations. A BBC four-part TV series based on the book was released in September 2020. Next is The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. This is the story of one woman's strong will to flee the horrors of slavery. Cora is a slave on a cotton plantation in Georgia, like her mother and grandmother before her, where conditions are especially difficult. She is encouraged to escape with recent arrival and fellow slave Caesar, using a secret underground railroad system that transports fleeing slaves from southern soil toward what is hoped to be freedom. The main story is a cat and mouse chase with the relentless slave hunter Arnold Ridgway on the tail of them. As Cora flees through many different states, each step of the way points out some form of horror. Every second chapter deals with the backstories of other characters in the world they're escaping. This book was tough to listen to because so much of the narrative depicts the brutal treatment and horrendous punishment of African-American slaves but it gives important insight into what life might have been like for the slaves. Whitehead tells Cora's story in a very matter-of-fact way, which makes what happens all the more horrific. The TV series adaptation of this book 
is set to premiere on Amazon Video in 2021. The final audiobook is Stay Close by Harlan Coben. This story revolves around three main characters. Megan Pierce is a suburban soccer mother. She used to walk on the wild side as a stripper at a bar until 17 years ago when she stumbled upon the body of Stuart Green, her abusive customer. Now Megan has two children and a lawyer husband, but a growing sense of dissatisfaction compels her to revisit her past, and this triggers a series of violent events that threaten to expose Megan's carefully hidden secrets. Ray Levine used to be a respected documentary photographer, but an incident changed his life 17 years ago when he ended up at what he believed to be a murder scene. Now he is working in a job posing as fake paparazzi for celebrity craving clients. When he inadvertently captures a photo of a new victim and Ray is drawn back into the dark past he too thought he'd left behind. Detective Jack Broom is determined to uncover the truth about the case of a husband and father who disappeared 17 years ago. And when another man disappears, the paths of Megan, Ray and Broom are drawn together. This thriller is layered with twists and unexpected turns that will keep you engaged and guessing all the way. This book is lined up for an eight-part TV adaptation on Netflix. If you want some further ideas for books to listen to that have been adapted for TV or film, you could try Casino Royale by Ian Fleming, The Undoing by Jean Hanth Coralis, Philomena by Martin Sixsmith, or Greetings from Berry Park by Safras Manzor. There are plenty to choose from, and you can decide if you prefer the book or screen adaptation. I do hope you enjoy these ideas for your next listen. listen. Comparing book and screen adaptations can be fun, and delving into something new can be so absorbing and enlightening. And don't forget, if these titles I have suggested are unavailable when you look, you can search by genre or subject and availability, or simply browse in the Libby app. If you prefer to read books, look out for my Librarian Recommends video on ebooks fortnightly on a Tuesday. Please do like this video if you have enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Your support and feedback is invaluable to us. Before I go, I would like to thank my colleague Win Wing for her invaluable help putting these recommendations together. Happy listening and see you soon. Bye.